And three, two, one, now. Hi, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. I'm Lewis Lightning. And, uh, yeah, I gotta explain some things. So I was recording three parts before, and my cat pulled out my uh, headset on the first part. And when I went back, I found out, well, I plugged it in, but I plugged it into the wrong slot. So I have to go back and do last three missions. So that'll be the Prodigal Son Returns to Yale. You will know the truth, and and the truth will set you free. So we'll have to do this one right now. And there's a lot of talking in the beginning, which I'm not a fan of, just because I've seen it like three times already. Professor. Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. You know, you know the thing? The thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir? No, I don't. I'm not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I am not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. He's just flipping right there. They're fucking savages! And then savages. he says, fucking. I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. <clears throat> you okay, professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this <clears throat> wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. <laughs> Why you wanna do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Uh, why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. <laughs> We're fighting for something a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm gonna hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're gonna run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. <clears throat> thank you, sir. Thank you, we're still here. Come on. Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this, this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. First thing she does is yell, and no reason. She see the gun on my back, or what? <clears throat> Come on. We can get to the roof this way. So this is about where like, my cat pulled up my cable. Last time. So I know exactly kind of what Do goes on for these next three parts. He's going to kill me! One more move, and he's a dead man! Why can't I shoot this guy? Boom, there. I told you took your sweet time! Christ alive, how many are there? We're completely surrounded! That guy's dead. 
Pop up, pop up, hurry. Pop up! There we go. One there. One there. These guys piss me off. Because I can never tell who I'm aiming at. Pop up. Just gonna wait. Just don't want to go too soon. And then get hurt. Ow. Damn it! Can't believe I missed that shot. Felt like a sure thing. Got that guy. One dude left here. Oh, I missed that one too. I think that's most of them. The coast looks clear. Come on then, let's make a break for it. Ow. Wall of McDougal across the rooftops. In an alleyway down here. How did he beat me? Maybe he didn't. Never in all my days. Come on, MacDougal. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's get the hell out of Blackwater. I know exactly where he's going, so I'm on the lead. There we go. <clears throat> up. It's not talking. Last time he was Just talking with me. Let me go. Weird. Now he's saying something different than last time. They are savages. No more than you and me. Most of these men were raised on reservations, <clears> educated <throat> in boarding schools, and what good has it done? Their land was taken from them. Land they'd lived on for hundreds of years. Yes, for their own good. To turn them into productive farmers. They were given religion, but they still worship their own gods. They were taught English, but they still talk in their own tongues. No. Look. Hurry! Just hold them! So, just hope I didn't. Well, there's a trophy for getting a gold medal in a combat mission, which I assume this is. And last time I did pretty well, but it was only 91% accuracy, which is the only thing I could think flawed me. So, hopefully, I'll have 100% uh, here. I missed a couple of shots of the sniper rifle there, as you saw, but. My research is complete! Much as I thought. There's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Mr. Block, dear friend. <laughs> so long, Professor. <gasps> so long, sir. So well, that's about the end of the mission here. Um, now, I did, like you know, I do a mission apart. I'm gonna go and check and see uh, which, because it was two videos that I split up, or one video I split up, one mission I split up into two videos, I should say. So I'm just gonna check and make sure I didn't miss anything else, because it shows here there's three missions I'm behind on. But uh, yeah, so I'll just uh, cut this part as soon as it cut, comes back to the main screen 
and check what I did and what I didn't do, and then we'll be back. I'll also grab some ammo here. Yeah, so if you enjoyed this part, leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll be right back. Okay, bye.